Okay, now let's add a bass guitar to our song. So I'm going to tap on loops. I'm going to reset the keywords. Go to instrument and let's go to bass guitar. Okay, so the bass guitar I'm looking for is one called Edgy Rock Bass 11. Here it is right here because it's alphabetical, edgy. Now, bass guitars are kind of hard to hear because they're very low, but that's going to be great for our song. And I want that to kind of start during that second section of our song. So I'm going to take that loop, I'm going to drag it onto a new track and put that right underneath that drum track I just made. Of course, I'm going to shorten it to match that other one. And then I'm going to copy and paste it and put it underneath that other little section that we made with those drums there. So I'm going to paste that in there. I'm going to shorten it. There we go. So now you're starting to see, you know, songs are very mathematical and they, they make a pattern. You know, so you can see different sections of the song happening here. So we only have the bass guitar happening during these two little sections of the song. And then in the next one, we're going to talk about how to add a guitar. So a lead guitar to it.